Okay, Shalom, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bless Shem, Yahweh, Shai, Bless Shem, Rakaq, uh, uh, Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, elders of GMS. Citation, peace, and blessings to the Hakim that's continue to do this work, push this truth until the end. Uh, well, let's get down into it. Uh, the elite devils, they know. And on some cases, even lower level devils know. Like this, uh, this, uh, this devil, Harold Wallace Rosenthal, he was put to death. And, uh, if I'm correct, in the 70s, somewhere in the 70s. Uh, person, I believe he was put to death because he spoke, he's, he opened his mouth too damn much. <laughs> you know, Oscar's Jews, Harold Wallace makes a confession on Judaism. And after releasing this information, dies. Uh, let me read this. I got some other stuff to show you as well. We are amazed at the Christianity. At, we are amazed at the Christian's stupidity, which their stupidity goes beyond uh, uh, the, the being deceived. Their stupidity lies within the, 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 the bullshit they accept. They were taught and they believe of as far as the Bible is concerned, you know. But anyway, Christian stupidity Judaism is not only the teachings of the synagogue, but also the doctrine of every Christian church in America. Through our propaganda, the church has become our most avid supporter. This has given us a special place in society. They are believing the lie that we Jews are the chosen people, <laughs> you know. A lot of them know, man, and they're proud of that. You know, they're proud. A lot of these devils are proud that they eat them, they, they're, they're, that they're Esau, you know. They're proud of it, man. Um, let me get a quick scripture. I want to just show you a few things, just digging into this. Um, Revelation 3 and 9. One of them scriptures that you just can't never forget. Revelation 2 and 9, 3 and 9. It just sticks with you. It just shows you that's the spirit of Yahweh, Bless Him, Yahweh Shai. That we, the people of Negro and Indian descent, we are the the, the, the the original Israelites, you know, of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. All right. So going back into this again, um, it says Harold Wallace Rosendahl quotes and saying, uh, "Most Jews do not like to admit it, but our goal, but our God is Lucifer, and we are his, and we are his chosen people, Lucifer, which he's referring to Satan. Lucifer only means light bearer." You know, but then again, this devil could actually be referring to the the actual elite, like the Rothschilds themselves, as Lucifer has been, you know, the the the, mm -hmm. on the light bearer on the left hand side of y'all, but y'all shy, you know, you got to mm -hmm. look at it that way as well, you know. But really, Lucifer he's referring to is actually Satan. When you look at listen to the uh, there's a video called The Lion Jew. I'm not sure if it's on YouTube or not. Still, I have a copy. If you want, I can. We can arrange it some way that you, I can get you a copy. I actually have the whole interview myself, you know, where the, this um, this Jew, they call it the lying Jew, um, I can't remember his name, where he actually said that their God is Satan, you know. They didn't deny. He, they're not even in denial of that, but, you know, hell, people, you know, like the lying Jew said, that you can tell the people, but they won't believe it, you know. And these devils tell can, you can say it to their your face, and and these same people you say it to their face, they they just still defend them like man, they're the Jews, you know, fucking foolish ass fools, man. People are stupid. It's one thing you're gonna learn about uh, waking up into the world and to this truth that you know the real twelve tribes of Israel, the two thirds are stupid, man. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Forgive a brother. All right. And it's just more right here. It's just more proof that, you know, that uh, they they have a devised devised a plan, you know, to uh, 
to kill off the 12 tribes and and they take their plan and they take their place you know it's just the mass this is the and i rec this is recommended reading as well the master plan of the illuminati rothschilds but you know why i'm not going there yet the master plan of the illuminati rothschilds um it was something else i wanted Mm. There's something else. I'll find it. I'll find it. It's right here somewhere. I'll find it. I got a lot of stuff on these devils, man. Oh, hold up. Let me go here. This right here. These are lying devils, man. It says, um, uh, and this is some good stuff. Honest Jew, Harold Wallace Rosenthal is going through the money thing. Um, exposing the Rothschild dynasty and his new world order. Harold Wallace Rosenthal, an honest Jew. An honest Jew. I've never called him an honest Jew. Harold Wallace Rosenthal, Jew, a personal assistant to. New York Senator Jacob Javits felt that Jewish power was so unassailable that he could make some extra cash by telling this story by to Walter White Jr., the editor of the conservative monthly Western Front interview in 76. To many Jews do not have the guts to tell you how we live and plan, but I am not intimidated by anything or anyone, Rosenthal told White. That's not what I wanted either. Sh showing you that they're just some lying devils. But the scripture says they do lie. Our power has been created through the manipulation of the national monetary system. The Federal Reserve System fit our plan nicely since it is owned by us. But the name implies that it is a government institution. From a very outset, our purpose was to confiscate all the gold and silver replacing them with worthless, non-redeemable paper notes. You see, this whole thing we're going through now, it's all, it's all, been, it's all been planned, man. It's all been uh, manufactured. You know, this whole crisis, this monetary uh, financial crisis, which ultimately is going to collapse. Which, like I said, it was all planned. You know, they got all the gold, and they got all, most of the gold, most, and all, this, you know, most of this, all the gold down there and most of the silver. You know, these people are liars, they're deceivers, man. That's why they're they're called devils, man. They're deceivers. You know. Scripture says they do lie, right? We Jews have put issue upon issue to the American people. Then we promote promote both sides of the issue as confusion reigns. With their eyes fixed on the issue, they fail to see who is behind every scene. We Jew Jews toy with the American public as a cat toy with its mouse. And that's true, man. You know, totally controlling the people through their deceit. Totally through their deceit. There was another one I wanted to show you, though, but let me just grab this out here. It's just part of their plan, man. It's just, you know, and have the world in confusion, destroy the world, have it, you know. And I've been through this before. I, I went through this a couple years ago, a few years ago. You know, but uh, it's always good to come back on a few things, you know, especially if brothers want some, just a way of sharing information. Um, let me find this, let me find this little con part of the conversation that they were having. This is a key part too. Okay, here we go. This is the question can you be more specific as to the role the Rothschilds play into all this all of this and I told you the whole ultimate goal is to get the birthright remember that Mary Knight well most people are, who are into conspiracies you know the Rothschilds are the most powerful family in the world you know the Rothschilds are fake Jews as well Khazars but you really 
don't hear about the details relating to how they have set themselves up to the to be king of the Jews and to usher in the Antichrist. It was the Rothschilds who financially backed the nation of Israel so they could eventually set up the throne for the Antichrist in Jerusalem, the 1948ers. And yet during World War II, their money and resources were used to kill millions of Jews, but they were seen as the expandable Jews from the house of Jacob. Remember, these guys have the audacity to use the Bible as a blueprint to take over the world. Let me give you some background information. Remember, the scripture says that they do lie. You know, the ones that say they are Jews that are read in, that are read in uh, Revelation. You got to keep that in mind. You got to always remember that, you know. Where the hell did it go? You know, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. They're not hiding that fact, man. They're not hiding that fact. But these niggas out here, man, they will still defend them. They're the Jews. They're the Jews. Oh, idiots. Okay. Okay. Remember, these guys have the audacity to use the Bible as a blueprint to take over the world. And remember how they set up the land of Israel as well. It's also in the scriptures. I got it right here. This is the book of Jeremiah, the 16th chapter. I'm sure I have it pulled up. 16. Oh, man. Pull up. Go to the book of Jeremiah. It says in verse 16 and 17, For my eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face, neither is their iniquity hid from my eyes. And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land. And over there in Israel, man, they... It's it, everything and anything goes, man. And the world largest gay parade goes on in the land of Israel right now, in Jerusalem. You know, these people are off the hook, man. Because they have defiled my land. They have filled my inheritance with the carcass of the detestable and an abominable things. You know, and who's going to receive, who's uh, 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 going to receive double? That's Esau. He's going to receive double. And the scriptures clearly cover that. You know, so again, going back, remember these guys have the audacity to use the Bible as a blueprint to take over the world. Let me give you some background information. On one level, the Rothschilds secretly called themselves the House of David from the tribe of Judah. Now, Rothschild translates from German to English means red shield. During biblical times, the Edomites fortress was the red rocks of Petra. Esau, the twin brother of Jacob, was described as red and hairy. So this information fits perfectly with what survivors have been telling me that on a deeper level, the Rothschilds are also claiming to be descendants of Esau. So they know, man, you know, you know, they know they're Edomites, you know, and, and, they look, and, and that's what they pushed in the world, you know, uh, you know, uh, their image, especially in the Renaissance. Apostle Tahar just threw up the videos on talking about it on. Um, what's it called? Um, um, Jesus for dumbasses. <laughs> you know, watch that. Uh, but they want to be us. Recommended reading. So, um, so it says the Edomites fortress the Red Rocks of Petra. Esau, the twin brother of Jacob, was described as red hair. So the information fits perfectly with what survivors have been telling me that on a deeper level, the Rothschilds are also claiming to be descendants of Esau, and thus are really from the house or tribe of Esau. What they are trying to do is to get the birthright back from the house of Jacob, who are the real Jews. Now, going to do the book of Genesis, it, 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 um, it, it breaks it down how he lost the birthright. 
you know, and, and lost it. He didn't care. He didn't give two dams about the birthright in the first place, you know. So he just wanted to please flee his hungry ass filthy flesh and eat that raw pottage, you know, that raw meat and, and keep it going. He didn't give a damn about it in the first place, you know. Scriptures cover all this, man. Revelation 2 and 9. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Now, didn't that devil say that their God is Lucifer? And they say these things in their own lips, from their own lips, man. You know, from their own lips, man. They know it, you know. Say it from their own damn lips, man. What more do I have? I don't know. In fact, the Jews are really the raw childs. In fact, the Jews are really the raw childs and a few hundred banking families and their non-Jewish allies united by intermarriage and occult beliefs. This is some good reading. A lot of things is going up on the internet, man. This is how the most high. Uh, this, this is what's his check. The most high's check make move to check make these devils in their lives. You know? You know? So anyway, till next time, little Willow. Shalom.